All right, number six. <clears throat> we want to solve this inequality. We're going to find uh, the intervals uh, and the signs, and then we're going to um, find the parts that represent uh, less than or equal to zero. All right, so to start this out, we have x minus 1, x plus 1, all divided by x, and we want that to be less than or equal to 0. All right, so first we're going to set the numerators equal to 0, find out what they are, and then the bottom cannot be 0, so that is going to be not equal to 0. So from x minus 1, we get x equals 1, add 1. Uh, from x plus 1, we get x equals negative 1. And on the denominator, we get that x cannot be 0. That causes us a problem. Can't have 0 on the bottom. All right, so we're going to do a number line. And then we're going to do these numbers. So negative infinity is here, positive infinity. Uh, let's say negative 1, 0, and 1. All right, so we have it divided into four sections from negative infinity to 1, from 1 to 0, sorry, negative 1 to 0, 0 to 1, and 1 to infinity. So a number less than negative 1, let's just say negative 2, between negative 1 and 0, let's just say a half, so negative 0.5, do positive 0.5 or half, and then let's just do positive 2. So these are going to be my test points. <clears throat> Alright, so first of all, I'm going to plug in negative 2 here. So I have negative 2 minus 1, negative 2 plus 1, divided by negative 2. I'm only concerned with the sign, not the actual value. This is negative times a negative, gives me a positive, divided by negative makes it turn negative. So overall, this section is negative. Alright negative 0.5 minus 1, negative 0.5 plus 1, all divided by negative 0.5. Alright, so negative number, positive, overall negative, divided by negative is positive. Alright, 0.5 minus 1, 0.5 plus 1, divided by 0.5 so we get this is 0.5 looks like 5.5 alright so we get a negative positive overall negative divided by positive is still negative so here we get negative and then plug in a 2 2 minus 1 2 plus 1 divided by 2 um, this is going to be this is going to be positive going to be positive this is positive divided by positive. So we have negative, positive, negative, positive. All right, so interval here from negative infinity to negative 1, interval from negative 1 to 0, 0 to 1, and 1 to infinity. Now, when we put it here in interval notation, even though it has an equal to sign here, we don't actually include the brackets when we're just listing the intervals, because just listing where they are. All right, so this first one, negative infinity, negative infinity to negative one. All right, and that one was negative. and then negative 1 to 0 this interval is positive 0 to positive 1 this interval is negative and then 1 to infinity and this interval is positive. 
All right, now we want to know what is the solution. So the solution are the ones that are actually less than zero, so the negative ones. Now with these, we now will add the brackets. So from our critical points, we do include one, we do include negative one, we do not include zero. So no brackets around zero. All right, so when I do this, the two negative intervals were negative infinity to one, a negative one that is, and we will include that, can be equal to and then one or zero to positive one we will not include zero we will include positive one All right. so uh, parentheses negative infinity comma negative one and we will put a bracket around that one and then union um, we're going to do parentheses around the zero comma one and we're going to put a bracket around the one 